What inspires me most uh, is people's resilience. You know, when you look at the amount of suffering that has happened, but the amount of effort that's put in to overcome the suffering and the repression and not give in to being victimized or anything, but actually people standing up for themselves and people actually taking initiative and working towards bettering uh, their situation, especially in rural areas and especially in places where you don't really have uh, the advantages of the urban centers. That kind of resilience to me, it's kind of like if they don't give up, then why should I give up, you know? Well, we still have, you know, a deep state in Sudan. We still have a, kind of a stretched security state. You know, it's still a fragile situation. Also, you know, not to me directly, but to the people I work with specifically, you know, who are, especially those who work in the remote areas uh, where you still have a security state, you still have militias, you still have these things. Uh, for us, we found out that the best way, the best mitigation of these risks is to have power in numbers and to connect with people. You know, we work in media, so naturally we work with people. So getting to know the people, being, you know, creating strong ties with them, you know, caring about their issues is the best form of risk mitigation because that way we, we're, we're a community of people, whether it's civil society, whether it's rural communities, they know that we want to help their situation. So it creates a bond and it creates solidarity. You know, solidarity is the best deterrent uh, to any state repression. Uh, my advice to Sudanese youth is for them to remain strong and to not compromise on their principles, but at the same time to be tolerant and accepting one another. The empathy among them is very important. You know, people from the North, youth from the North, have to understand what youth in the South uh, have been through and be able to start that dialogue. And I say this because I'm optimistic because I've seen a lot of it happen already where youth are connecting with each other and, you know, understanding each other's story and using that to create solidarity and to work, uh, have collective action towards progress in Sudan. So more of that, more solidarity with empathy and more progressiveness.